But I want to also prophesy over the Midlands because I'm sitting down and I'm having this vision over and over, you know, and I'm, I'm more of a knobby kind of bubbles up in me than a seer, you know, but I kept seeing a vision over and over and I couldn't figure out like what it meant. I saw the Lord take a huge seat belt and just click it on the Midlands and the Midlands was the belt buckle. And I thought, what do you mean? And the, and the Lord would say, this is what he said. And the Lord would say, fasten your seatbelt. For what I'm getting ready to do in the Midlands, you would not believe if it were told you. For God says, I'm going to do such a work that I'm going to make the Midlands the belt buckle of a move of God. And the Lord says, and don't you think I can make this area the Bible belt? And the Lord says, I'm getting ready to release an anointing of the fear of the Lord. I'm getting ready to release an anointing of conviction. But I'm getting ready to release extraordinary miracles. I mean, extraordinary miracles. And the Lord says, the newspapers are going to report on the extraordinary miracles. The journalists are going to want to come once again to the meetings because I am getting ready. There is a rumble in the whole of the UK. Listen to me. You know, many times, you know, you'll see right before there's an, a nuclear explosion, seemingly there will come this moment of stillness where it looks like really nothing much is happening. But then comes the nuclear explosion. And the Lord says, this is that season where just before I'm getting to ready to break out with so many revivals, it will come in the UK and the north and the south and the east and the west. It will be small churches. It will be big churches. It will be unusual places. And the Lord says, there is a rumble in the heavens. There is a rumble in the earth because I am getting ready to come to a nation, says the Lord. Come on. <laughs> now, listen. Mike and I were just in Argentina. We were part of the Argentine revival. And we were just with Claudio Frazen, <coughs> excuse me, a lot of leaders there. And, uh, you know, um, and so I've, I've been in the Brazilian revival, the Colombian revival, the Sunderland revival, the Toronto revival, the Brownsville revival. Okay, but I've been in a few revivals. <laughs> and, uh, but I am feeling... It's like the Holy Spirit is brooding. That's all I can say. The Holy Spirit is overshadowing. Now, you're going to see, listen to me, some disruptive things happen. And the Lord's going to expose some. The Lord showed me there was a terrorist cell in this area he's going to expose. And you watch and see. He's going to expose it. It's going to be a, it's a sleeper cell. It's going to be a little shocking. But don't worry about it because it's actually going to be a sign. And when you see this happen, you look and see and know that I'm getting ready to pour out my spirit. And the Lord says, I am preparing a new generation. Oh, my goodness. And the Lord says, what I'm getting ready to do, no man can stop. No humanistic spirit can stop it. No other agenda can stop it. For I am getting ready to move like fire. And the Lord says it's going to surprise many. But the Lord wants you to know, I have listened to your prayers. I am not counting you out, United Kingdom. I listen to you. I see your prayer vigils. I see the times you have prayed, says the Lord. And the Lord says, so get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Prepare yourself, sanctify yourself. For the Lord says, I am coming. I am going to visit the Anglican church. And the Lord says, there are many vicars. Some are not even born again. But I am going to pour out my spirit even upon the, the, the cathedrals. The Lord says, watch and see the cathedrals of this nation will be filled with people worshiping me. 
And the Lord says there are other ideologies and other agendas that have tried to come in. But God says what I'm going to do is going to silence those who would say things that are anti-biblical. And the Lord says watch and see because I have a very convincing voice, says the Lord. And I am going to speak to them and sinners will be saved. Come on. Put your hands together. Amen. 